Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video because I did get cut off before when I was talking about my card of the year, but I'm going to pull one for you guys. I call on my guides, God, Jesus, Mary, all beings of light, to assist me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. This is your 2019 theme card of the year <clears throat> and what you most need to know. Okay, wow, you guys got two. <clears throat> so excuse me, I'm sorry that I have to keep clearing my throat, but I've been having some weird symptoms lately. So getting into these cards, the Three of Swords, in my opinion, is really calling you for deeper healing, emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual, energetic. You know, that just fell down. It's like you are... I, and I seen spirit when that fell down. It was like going downhill. And a lot of you need to see where there's energies that are forcing you to feel that way. Where are these energies coming from? Is there a way to prevent them? Is this something you got to work through yourself? Is there someone that can help you figure out why you're feeling this way? How can you protect yourself? How can you come up with a conclusion, in my opinion, to things that have bothered you for some time and keep drawing out the heartache and keep drawing out the unanswered reasons why you keep grieving, you know. When I see the Knight of Wands, in my opinion, this is about someone, something that is going to open your eyes and present you with your own free will again. I feel like a lot of us have felt like our free will has been stripped from us or stripped from someone we love. And this year we are seeing that we have to think differently and do stuff differently in order to get different results. And that sounds so generic, but I feel like a lot of us need that reminder for 2019 that there is growth coming but we're not going to find it where we have in the past. We're definitely not going to find it in the way that we thought we were going to be presented. And we really need to take a look at signs because I'm seeing the angel number 27, okay? So this could be a, a secret message for you to look up later as an angel number. And I usually type it in Google if you're just wondering what I'm talking about. But I feel like a lot of us are going to be seeing our struggles in a new way that is going to bring us that energy to go forward and understand we can wear it. You know, I'm seeing a purple heart. So it's almost as if your guides want you to see it as a way to... Encourage those around you to vibrate and to help you get to where you want to be, you know, because you don't want people that are going to stand in your way, that is going to keep triggering you, that is going to keep trying to bring you back down to that level that you've tried so hard to get off of. Now, when I say level, I mean a certain pattern of thoughts, actions, reoccurring themes, even those self-sabotaging behaviors, environments, you know, so it's about breaking away this year and it's really about standing proud with who you are, where you've came from and understanding that there doesn't need to be any more shame, you know, what you're feeling and it can help other people. It can bring other people these messages that they've been seeking. You can be that guardian angel for someone else along with yourself and that divine God, goddess of love and light is here to assist you and to shed light on these, what I hear, empty spaces, which in my opinion is what they're trying to convey here is these spaces are our birthright of success and new ideas that we have not allowed ourselves to 
be downloaded with these this information and to be downloaded with this limelight for us to step into these empty spaces to see what it's all about. I do hope that this makes sense. I'm wishing everyone a great 2019. I will leave my links down below. If you feel like donating, I'd really appreciate it. And always follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and check out my website. Many blessings.